So here is our second theorem exploring onto and one-to-one -one mappings. And I love this theorem because it really stresses the importance of not only knowing the definitions, but understanding the definitions and their logical equivalences. This is going to save us a great deal of time and stress and fear if we can make connections of new topics to old topics that we already know. So here we go. Get excited. We're going to let T be a linear transformation. And we're also going to let A be the standard matrix of T. Then we have the following statements. Statement number one says that T maps Rn onto Rm when the columns of A span Rm. And statement number two says that if T is a one-to-one -one mapping, or excuse me, T is a one-to-one -one mapping when the columns of A are linearly independent. So hopefully as we're reading through these together, you're recognizing things we've already seen. The columns of A span Rm. That should be reminding you of the equivalence theorem that way back from the beginning of linear algebra. And the columns of matrix A being linearly independent, we looked at that not too long ago. So we are connecting previously established topics to these new ideas of onto and one-to-one -one mappings. And now the last thing that I want to point out to you here is that both of these statements include the word when. Now, when we have a when statement, that's the same thing as an if and only if statement. So in theory, we need to verify both directions for both of these statements. So for statement number one, we want to show that if T maps Rn to Rm, then the columns of matrix A span Rm. And we also need to show that if the columns of A span Rm, then T maps Rn onto Rm. And the same idea holds true for property number two. Now, to save us a little time, I'm going to show you a proof technique that we use frequently through this course, where we are going to verify both directions simultaneously by using logically equivalent statements. So this is a powerful shortcut to help us save a little time as long as we remember those logically equivalent statements. So here's the proof for property number one. T maps Rn to Rm when the columns of matrix A span Rm. Now, as we proceed, I want you to keep in mind that T is linear. T is a linear transformation. And we also know that A is the standard matrix of T. These two statements are going to guide us through our proof. So, let's start by thinking about the equivalence theorem that we know and love from matrix equations and vector equations. So we can say, by the equivalence theorem from section 1.4. By the equivalence theorem, we know that saying the columns of matrix A span Rm is logically equivalent to saying that for every vector b in the codomain, or for every vector b in Rm, matrix A times vector x equals vector b is consistent. It has at least one solution. So these two statements are logically equivalent. Now, since A is the standard matrix of T, let's make some other logically equivalent connections. So since A is the standard matrix of T, we know that the previous statement is logically equivalent to saying that for every vector B in the codomain, or for every vector B in Rm, the equation defined as the image of vector x under the action of t equals vector b is consistent. Right? Those are logically equivalent statements. Well, this is also logically equivalent to saying that each vector b in the codomain, or each vector b in Rm, is the image of 
of at least one vector x in the domain. Now wait a second, each vector b in the codomain is the image of at least one vector x in the domain is the definition of it onto mapping. Woohoo! So we can say that, therefore, by definition, T maps Rn onto Rm. Woohoo! Oops, we did it! And that completes the proof. And because we have shown this using logically equivalent statements, we've actually shown both directions simultaneously. So what we could do is start from the bottom and work our way back to the top. We can say that, well, since well, let's assume that T maps Rn onto Rm. Well then, by definition, this is telling us that each vector b in Rm is the image of at least one vector x in the domain Rn, which we know is logically equivalent to saying that for every vector b in the codomain Rm, the image of vector x under the action of t equals vector b is consistent. Now, since A is the standard matrix of t, this is logically equivalent to saying that for every vector b in Rm, the matrix equation matrix A times vector x equals vector b is consistent which we know is logically equivalent to saying that the columns of matrix A span Rm. So by using these logically equivalent statements, we can verify both directions simultaneously. Woohoo! Now, now that we have completed the proof for statement number one, let's go ahead and explore statement number two. If T, or, T is a one-to-one -one mapping, when the columns of matrix A are linearly independent. So here we go, property number two. Now here, we wanna show that T is a one-to-one -one mapping when the columns of matrix A are linearly independent. Now again, keep in mind that this when statement is equivalent to an if and only if statement. So in theory, we need to show both directions. We need to show that if T is a one-to-one -one mapping, then the columns of matrix A are linearly independent. And we also need to show that if the columns of matrix A are linearly independent, then T is a one-to-one -one mapping. So just like with property number one, to save us a little time, we are going to look at the proof technique where we verify both directions simultaneously using logically equivalent statements. So here we go. And again, as we get started, let's keep in mind that we know T is a linear transformation. And we also know that A is the standard matrix of T. Now, what direction you start with is entirely up to you. Here, I'm going to start by thinking about what do I know about the statement that the columns of matrix A are linearly independent. So we can say, by definition, that saying that the columns of matrix A are linearly independent. we know that this statement is logically equivalent to saying that the homogeneous equation, matrix A times vector X equals the zero vector, has only the trivial solution. And we of course know that the trivial solution is vector x being equal to the zero vector in Rn. So if the columns of matrix A are linearly independent, we know that this is logically equivalent to saying that the homogeneous equation has only the trivial solution. Well, since matrix A is the standard matrix of T, 
we know that this previous statement is logically equivalent to saying that the equation defined as the image of vector x under the action of t equals the zero vector has only the trivial solution. Again, the trivial solution is the zero vector in Rn. Now, if the equation defined as the image of vector x under the action of t equals the zero vector has only the trivial solution, then we know that by theorem number one, so by theorem one, related to onto and one-to-one -one mappings, that this is logically equivalent to saying that t is a one-to-one -one mapping. Oops, we did it! Woohoo! So we have verified both directions here by looking at these logically equivalent statements. Now, of course, you could do them out separately if you want, and in that case, you would simply need to start from the bottom and say, well, if t is a one-to-one -one mapping, then by theorem number one, we know that this is logically equivalent to saying that the equation defined as the image of vector x under the action of t equals the zero vector has only the trivial solution. Now, since matrix A is the standard matrix of t, we know that this statement is going to be logically equivalent to saying that the homogeneous equation matrix A times vector x equals a zero vector has only the trivial solution, which we know is logically equivalent to saying that the columns of matrix A are linearly independent by definition. And we've verified the second direction. So again, you only need to, as long as you're using these logical equivalent statements, you're verifying both directions of your if and only if proof simultaneously.